Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my recent shoe haul. So if you guys are interested, then keep watching. So I might or might have not gone a little bit overboard with the shoe shopping. Just a little bit of shoes. I kind of covered every shoe possible existing out there. There are, let me have a count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven new pairs of shoes behind me that I have purchased in the last probably two weeks. Uh, I don't know what happened. I haven't actually bought that much clothes, but something just happened and I was like, new season is coming. I need some new shoes. And I definitely got some really nice, awesome shoes. But I also did get some summer and like more going out shoes. Anyways, I just thought I will share it with you because I know you guys enjoy a good haul So I think we should just jump in straight into the boxes behind me and I will show you what I bought So I think we're gonna go with the ones that are out of the boxes already um, So I've got a new pair of Ash boots. I absolutely love Ash as a brand. I own uh, Three pairs of shoes from them. I have some sneakers. I have some ankle boots and I absolutely love them I wear them all the time. So when when I saw these ones, I thought, well, you guys are right up my street. I wear boots like that every single year, every season. I wear them with floaty summery dresses, something girly. I wear them with jeans. You can wear them with skirts. They just always look amazing. And I really like how minimal these ones are. But at the same time, the studs really look cool. And they kind of have that kind of Valentino rock stud spike. Um, vibe about them and they do actually match my Valentino spike which is not intentional by no means that is not the reason why I bought them but I really like them they fit really nicely on the ankle as well they are lace up however they do have a zip on the side which I love because otherwise it's just a nightmare to unlace and lace them every single time. If you like the details, like here, even on the sole, they have all the studs going around, and they are just a nice, simple pair of black lace up boots. I have owned boots like that for probably the last seven years. Um, Azara does amazing options. Ash is not a very expensive brand, but it's definitely a really good quality one. I have not worn them yet, but I'm super excited to wear them, and I think that they do look really, really good. Don't they just look good? I do have a similar pair from Chanel, but I wanted a pair that is not as expensive and that I can wear on more kind of daily basis. That's exactly why I got these, and I have so many outfits in mind for these. So if you're looking for a nice, interesting pair of black lace up boots, I will leave the links to these and all the shoes in the description box below because they all should be available right now so that is our shoe number one then I think let's go with this little sandals that you might have already seen in my uh, video about the t-shirts because I styled the t-shirts with the shoes and that was like the first time I kind of got them out of the box they still had the stickers on them but as you can see I have already worn them I took them to New York with me and oh my god this is such a comfortable pair of shoes Considering how many straps they have, they are really comfortable and they don't hurt because I have had a few strappy shoes in the past that just dig into your feet so much at the front with the straps. But these are amazing. I really like the color. They literally go with everything. I worn them with jeans. I worn them with dresses. You can kind of like dress them up, but you can also dress them down. I really like the square sort of nose. Um, it's really in at the moment. There are so many different um, uh, styles of shoes like that. But yeah, they have straps going around the ankles. And I also really like the kind of unusual heel that they have. It's not like a normal stiletto one. Very, very comfortable shoe, very kind of stable heel. They also come in black and maybe a different color as well. Um, but I just wanted a nude pair that will go with everything. So yeah, I am gonna continue wearing them through the autumn. Maybe not so much in the winter, depending how many parties I attend. Um, but in autumn, definitely I'm gonna wear them. And I really, really like them. I have another more of a summery pair of shoes here. Uh, and it's a pair of Esper Drills. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen them on me when I was in New York because I actually kind of bought them before I went to New York for New York. A little bit late with the whole Esper Drill thing, considering it's the end of August. But that just what happens. Uh, I was in a mood for some Esper Drills and I kind of thought that the outfits that I was taking 
really needed an espadrille. So I got it. And this is the Castanier um, brand. They sell them on net -a -Porte. That's where I ordered mine from. You can order from the official site as well. And this is the pair that I got. What is that? They are the higher version of the um, of the platform because they also do a lower version. So it's up to you. But I have to say that these were very, very, very comfortable. And they are just a canvas fabric that um, is just on your nose. They also do a version with like a peep toe, uh, which is super cute. And then it has long straps that goes around your ankles, um, which I find really cute. It's very feminine and it kind of gives you a lift that a heel would, but at the same time, it's a much more comfortable shoe. And if you're going on a vacation or if you're going on a city break and you're gonna be walking around, this for me is definitely better than any kind of heel or stiletto. They kind of hug the heel really nicely and the front. So I walked a lot in them, like a lot in New York. And they've got like a rubbery sole, which is great because it doesn't um, sort of rub off or it doesn't get really dirty. And so yeah, they do these in so, so, so many colors and so many patterns. Definitely check them out. Uh, oh, actually, we are going on a vacation in September, so I'm definitely going to take these um, with me. And just because they are perfect to go for dinner, if you're not taking any sandals or heels, but you do want to look a bit dressier, these are absolutely perfect. So yeah, actually, that just gave me an idea that I'm going to take them to Greece. Let's have a look what shoe have I got in here. This is another pair of Ash shoes. I may have bought three pairs of ash shoes um yes guilty as charged i get carried away when i see really nice shoes and this is another pair of heeled boots i have not worn them yet either and um, they are waiting for their outing but that i think is going to literally happen tomorrow because i love these boots so i own a similar pair of boots from ash but they are brown and they are ankle boots and I have shown them to you before. And these are a little bit different, not a little bit, actually a lot, come on, a lot. I can justify buying shoes, but these are actually different from the shoes that I own. So we have like a higher heel ankle boot. It's a bit more cowboy style with a very chunky heel like on an angle. They are a very dark brown suede, kind of like a brown purple suede i would call it like that and i really like the details here like the cutouts and i love this heel because it's definitely a higher heel than my other ankle boots and um, but it's a very very stable heel because the thing is that i modeled in the shoes and that's why i got them i had a photo shoot and i had those shoes on a photo shoot so that is why i knew that they were really comfortable because i spent a lot of time in them on the day they have a side zip here and they just come up higher on the on the ankle but they're not too wide at least uh, i do have quite thin ankles but these ones look really good and i just thought they will look great with just some jeans and white shirts and biker jackets but also with dresses like cute little short flowery dresses I think that will look lovely, maybe with a little hat even. Um, all the shoes come the right size. With Ash, I always get a 39 and I am a 39. And um, so that's just for your information if you're gonna be ordering online. Suede is a difficult fabric to take care of, but what I do, I have kind of a little brush and I also have a spray that I spray in wetter months that kind of, you know, is like a waterproof spray. So that's another pair that we have. Then I have a pair from Kurt Geiger, which is the latest addition to my shoe wardrobe, to my shoe collection. Um, I just could not resist the shoes. I don't know what it was. I actually don't own that many sandal shoes. Um, those ones are actually probably my second pair of like sandal heels. I don't know why. I just, um, I gave up buying heels at some point. I really like heels, but I mostly go for boots or something, I don't know, more comfortable. I do wear my Louboutins quite a bit. Uh, my Valentino's quite a bit, but not a sandal heel, like a barely there, always just, it seems so painful and uncomfortable to me. And I uh, get to model in barely there's all the time, and I find them so uncomfortable. But these guys kind of changed my mind a little bit. This is my latest purchase in my shoe family, 
and in addition to my uh, sandal family. This is from Kurt Geiger. I think they look amazing. I think they look so expensive, so much more expensive than they are. They are 100 pounds, but you guys, for me, this is like, this could be a Jimmy Choo, this could be a Labutan. 100% it could be like the quality is great and they're kind of a bit sparkly and in different lights They look different sometimes they look gold sometimes they look silver and I kind of like that Chameleon thing about them because then you can wear them with different things and different accessories as well And what I love about them and the reason why I kind of like you know went for them is because they have three straps if it's a barely there usually that's all you get and for me the pressure that you get here um, like the the only thing that is holding your foot is this little strap. It just makes it quite difficult to walk Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my feet, but that additional strap made a massive difference But I also like the design of it I like how it looks and obviously it's got a little strap going around the ankle So this is what you have the heel is not too high It's a very very comfortable heel and because you have the support of those three three straps is such a comfortable shoe to wear. I mean, you could, again, wear them with some jeans and a nice blouse, but you could dress them up, go to a wedding in them. I'm thinking Christmas, 100% these are coming out. I can't wait to wear them. And I think that they will definitely see the light of day very soon because I am tempted to wear them this weekend somewhere. Don't know where yet. I think we have two more pairs of shoes left. I'm literally building a fort here. Uh, let's go here. This is a new pair of boots that I got and this is from the office of Angela Scott uh, They do some incredible beautiful brogues and some beautiful shoes some great work shoes as well Like check them out anyways, but I went for Another boot because I'm a boot kind of girl. I am definitely a boot kind of girl uh, Come to the little dust bag and these are the boots that I got uh, I am so feeling the whole cowboy thing at the moment I just think it's such a cool shoe to wear and you can wear it so many ways you can dress it up You can dress it down. I love combining dresses like I said before with shoes like this but also like that and look they're not the same not at all so nobody can tell me that I'm buying like same shoes like three pairs of shoes that look the same because come on none of the shoes that I have showed you today are the same they all are different they're all for different occasions different outfits different seasons so I'm just covering myself here so yeah how cool is this boot absolutely love it it's like a patent black leather got this like traditional sort of like a Chelsea boot um, detail here and a white strap and I absolutely love this detail the white strap it kind of brings a bit of a sport vibe to it and they're super super comfortable got a zip on the side I am in love with these like actually in love I can't wait to wear them with like a long floaty free people style dress this is the this is the idea it was like one pair that was a lace up black like a croc boot it looked so so good I was so tempted to uh, to go for that one but then I was like okay I've just got myself a lace up boot Xenia stop yourself press brakes let's go for these and I am so happy I did again I will leave the links to everything in the description box below and we have one more shoe one more shoe to reveal and you guys it wouldn't be me if within all those shoes there wouldn't be a sneaker like if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know you just know that I am a sneaker and a boot kind of girl and if I wouldn't buy a new sneaker I don't know something I would need to go to some kind of rehab because something would definitely be wrong and it is from Ash again if you have been watching my videos for a while you would have seen that I did buy a sneaker from them some time ago and this is just a new version of the same sneaker and yes throw rotten tomatoes at me like do whatever you need to do curse at me but yes I am the person who bought the same shoe in two different colors but they are so different I'm gonna go now after I show you this and bring you the other shoe but look how cool they are hello hello so yes it is literally an identical pair of shoes but in a different colorway but I got so much wear out of the the light pair so much wear it was probably my best purchase of last year I worn them all the time with dresses with shorts with jeans with skirts with trousers like 
all the time I want them. They're super comfortable. I love the chunky sole and this is their new colorway. And I don't really have dark sneakers. I have a lot of white sneakers, beige sneakers, gray sneakers, have some blue sneakers, I have a red pair, but I don't actually own any dark ones. And I thought that this could be the one because it's kind of dark, but it's kind of not. It's reflective, it's a bit silvery, it's got a bit of blue, it's got a bit of grey, it's got everything I love. I don't know, I just I just fell in love with them literally straight away, so I had to have them. So here is the old colorway, this is the shoe that I have owned for a while, this is the new colorway, so come on, they're completely different, except the fact that they're the same design and same everything. They look completely different because of the colorway and I will wear them with different things. So also these guys right here, they're suede at the front and um, so they do get a little bit dirty. You kind of have to like clean them all the time. This ones, um, they've got leather and not, they actually don't really have any fabric on them except this mesh material, which makes them so much easier to wear, so much easier to clean, especially in colder, wetter months. And that, my friends, I believe, is all the shoe purchases that I have made. Everything will be linked in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye!